हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी टू इंप्लीमेंट अप काउंटर एंड डाउन काउंटर साइमल्टेनियसली इन अ सिंगल सर्किट बाय यूजिंग मल्टी सिम सो फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ मोड एंड लेट अस गो टू प्लेस कंपोनेंट एंड लेट अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूज द आईसी व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी 74LS76 सो जस्ट सर्च फॉर इट इन ऑल ग्रुप्स व्हिच आई एम नॉट सर्चिंग राइट नाउ सो जस्ट गो टू ऑल सर्च ऑल ग्रुप्स एंड जस्ट सर्च फॉर 74LS76 व्हिच इज दिस आईसी व्हिच कंटेन्स जेके फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज प्रॉपर आईसीज सो I want to implement a four bit counter so I'll need two ICs right so I got these two ICs fine and after that I will connect the easy connections first that is VCC and all so I'll just keep some space between them so that I want to connect XOR and all between them that's why so let's go to again place component VCC which is the easy thing so where all you are going to connect VCC first of all you are going to connect the presets and sets everything so this is the preset and set so I'll do one thing for second I'll connect it first so first preset and first clear will be connected then first gen first k one gen one k why because i'm going to use the toggling case so that's why one gen one k will be one and second preset and second clear will be one again and after that second q and second j will be one so i'll just shift this to right side and connect it to 2j and 2k i'll do the same thing for the second ic now Okay, everything looks fine now. For one preset, one clear, two preset, two clear, one J, one K, two J, two K. Everything is fine, and obviously VCC will be connected to VCC, which is the important thing which I forgot. Ground you can connect obviously, but it is fine if you don't connect because it is obviously zero voltage. It is fine. Now comes the interesting part where we are going to connect the XOR IC. Why I am going to connect XOR? I have made a tutorial on it in the previous tutorial only, so you can click on this I icon and watch it, and then understand the logic behind the connection. The XOR IC number is, I think, seven four eight seven six. Yeah. So just place it over here and connect VCC first because VCC is really easy to connect right now. VCC ground you can connect. It's no not necessary, obviously. First of all, place clock because clock is the important part of the circuit. So digital clock, or you can use the function generator according to you, whatever you want. And I know I want the frequency to be changed because one K is too fast for us to see. Or interpret. So 1k will be changed to let us say 10 hertz is fine, I guess. So 10 hertz. And after that, the now comes the interesting part when we are going to connect 1q. But we'll need some switch, right? So I'll just go to place. You can select a switch, whatever switch you like. Or I like the interactive drill constant, so I'll use that. So okay, I don't want this interactive drill constant. So this is the mode, and what I have to do is I have to connect this mode. With XOR of the first output, so first output is nothing but one Q, which I'll connect over here, and I'll connect this mode now. And whatever output of this is, it is going to be M, that is mode XOR Q. So this is going to be mode XOR Q, which is Y, and I'll connect this to the clock of the second flip flop. Second flip flop means this one, and I'll connect it to the clock of second flip flop. And the same thing I'm going to do now. The output of this second flip flop is going to be two Q. So this two Q will be connected over here, and it's XOR with again this M will be connected with so 2Q XOR M will be connected that is 2Y it will be connected to the clock of third uh, block the third flip flop so this is nothing but the third flip flop so I'll connect it over here this is IC so it is having one but it is the, our third flip flop in our row so again it is fine it looks really shabby but I hope you understood the connections from the basic after that what we are going to do is our this clock is fine so 1Q is going to be the, its output. This output is going to be connected with XOR, so I'll just connect it over here, and again I'll take its XOR. So with M, right? So I'll have to connect M as well. So this is nothing but M. This will be one Q, that is three Q. I should say for our, according to our convention. So three Q XOR M will be this, and this will be connected to the clock of the last or the fourth block. And I think we are done with the clocks now. Now what we have to connect is the simple parts, which is going to be the Hold on, I'll just search it. It is in indicators, yeah. It is in indicators. Hex, hex display. You can connect this blue, whatever you want. You can do. So just place it over here. Now is the important part, the MSB. So MSB will be left, LSB will be right. So MSB will be the last block that we have. Last block is nothing but this thing, which is 2Q. So I'll just connect 2Q over here. This is the MSB. After that will be the three. Actually, 2Q means 4Q in in this according to our convention. 2Q then 1Q. Then it will be 2Q for this IC. So 2Q for this IC is really difficult to find right now. Yeah, I don't know if it's connected. Yeah, this will be 2Q. Then I have 1Q. So where is 1Q? Yeah, this is 1Q. So it looks really, really bad right now. I know that. And let us run this now. Uh, you can place this mode closer over here so that you know. 
it is switching right so i'll just run it now let us see what happens so see it started from f it is going from okay it will start from zero actually because it is up counter as i told you it will start from, for zero it will start from one it is going to start as a up counter so four five and it is going to continue so on but in between if i switch it to one it will stop there and it will again start to count in a downwards way so that is decremented so if i say switch it to one it will say now from eight it went to seven it goes to six it goes to five four and so on so this was the four bit up counter and a down counter in a single circuit by using a switch zero means up counter and one means a uh, down counter so that's all from my side you can subscribe to my channel for more programmed content and electronic stuff and many stuff so that's all from my side stay tuned keep learning thank you